A gatekeeper is someone who acts as a go-between between between the reporter and you, the interviewee. The gatekeeper may be a press secretary, personal assistant, publicist, or company spokesperson. Let's take a look at what they do and why you might want a gatekeeper. In the case of a big organization, it starts with something as simple as needing a kind of central clearinghouse for all the media requests that come through. It's easier to have a single point of contact. Uh, just from an internal control perspective. We want to always know uh, who's calling, how often, um, and what they're calling about. And, and also determining who this, the spokesperson should be. Should it be the CEO? Should it be a member of the executive? Or should it be a subject area expert? Whenever possible, um, I will try to have somebody else handle the calls because uh, for every story that I end up getting interviewed on, there's probably five to ten requests that I can't do because I'm out of town uh, and I'm not going to be able to do something or I'm already doing something else. I've got a, an appointment booked. Um, and people can actually get, again, pretty hostile if you're not a, available. So a gatekeeper can save you a lot of time, energy, and hassle by functioning as a screening service to determine, one, if the reporter that has called is doing a story that is an appropriate fit for your expertise, Two, if the reporter is representing an audience with which you want to connect. And three, if you are even available at the time that the reporter wants to do the interview. So depending on the level of training, gatekeepers can do much more than that. Many organizations hire gatekeepers who have been reporters. If that is the case, they will intimately understand how to shepherd you through the entire media request process, from first contact to seeing the reporter out the door at the end of the interview. And it, it's like being on the same coin but different sides, in a way. Um, when I was in news, you'd go in thinking, okay, where's the story here? Where's the holes? You're always trying to find the information that wasn't released or, or the story behind what they were trying to say. And what now, doing what I'm doing, I'm trying to think about, well, what are the messages we're trying to get out? How do we want to convey what we have to say? And and how do we do that in a way that is succinct, that is understandable, that really does get the point across? That depth of understanding in a gatekeeper means they can often work with a reporter to further hone a story idea in ways that benefit both sides of the equation. The fact of the matter is the reporters come in there with at least some preconceived notion of what the story is going to be about, who they're going to talk to, what sort of angle they're going to take. Um, and your job is to figure out what role you play within that story, what facts to bring forward to help that story, which, which facts to hold back if they aren't relevant to the story. In the case of an interview involving a famous person, how gatekeepers share knowledge about the stars they are representing becomes that much more controlled. You need to find out skeletons in the closet, you need to find out their weaknesses and their strengths, and also if there's any great stories as well, because that's what it's all about. Give the journalist a story that's really good, they don't have to go and dig out all the bad stuff on you. A good gatekeeper will also embark upon sometimes lengthy discussions regarding a whole variety of issues surrounding the logistics of doing the interview. So that upfront conversation with a reporter uh, about what they're looking for, uh, what what tact are they taking with their story, um, understanding who else are they talking to, uh, so you get a flavor for where you or your spokesperson or your uh, client is going to fit into it. Uh, where will the interview take place? Is it a television interview? What's the backdrop going to be? In what light am I as a spokesperson going to be framed? Standing in front of a burning building or am I going to be in a lovely you know, idyllic park setting? You know, what, what, where am I framed? Uh, those are all issues that you want to get out on the table at the very beginning and it's, it's not a situation where a journalist is going to be making all of those decisions for you. The question of how much time the gatekeeper negotiates for the actual interview really depends on the medium, the type of story, and the reporter themselves. It's really useful if the gatekeeper knows the style of the players involved because they often know what to expect. Sometimes it's very important to lay down time parameters, other times, not at all. I, I've had uh, interviews for, for major TV stories, you know, top, top two or three stories, 
where the time I spent with the reporter is less than five minutes. You know, there's some they just want the clip. They just they need to get you know 30 seconds of your time, and then they're off to do their story. And there's others that will use an interviewing technique that is really to drag it out and get you to say as many things in as many different ways, and they'll go through and cherry pick the stuff that they want. And I've been burned by that many times. By the time you are ready to actually do the interview, your gatekeeper has already screened the reporter and negotiated the terms of the interview. Now, depending on the actual interview process, their role changes to a kind of chaperone. Upon the arrival of the reporter, the gatekeeper is on hand to welcome them, help them get set up, and make them comfortable before going to get you. Depending on the need for it, an accomplished gatekeeper will also use this time with the reporter to either share some additional information to help with the story, or they will interview the reporter and pass anything useful they discover along to you. I try and quickly grab the reporter before the camera gets uh, turned on or set up, or before the microphone's uh, hooked on, uh, just to have a bit of a background conversation, because a lot of times the, these reporters are working under incredible pressures, and they're on the road, and they don't have the information they need to, to actually conduct the interview. Mostly what would happen would be, I would go up to the act after the journalist had left and say, okay, your next interview is with The Sun. Be careful not to mention this, this, and this, but do mention that. The person in question is, is hit this person, he's a journalist, and his favorite football club is this. And let's start the interview. And then if the act is really a media savvy, you'd find that, that she, he or she would turn up, shake the journalist's hand and say, wow, I heard your team Arsenal won the soccer last night. Wow, and instantly the prep has paid off because the journalist is on your side. If time is an issue before the interview, the gatekeeper can establish the role of timekeeper, letting the reporter know that they will be signaling an end with a countdown during the last couple of minutes. Also, if the interview topic is particularly challenging, the gatekeeper can roll audio or a camera to ensure they have a copy of the interview. This puts the reporter on notice that you plan to stay on top of the context in which the interview is quoted. Finally, when you are done with the interview, a gatekeeper can help you to elegantly and quickly depart so that you minimize chances of making off-the-cuff comments that might give the reporter more information than is useful or appropriate for you or your organization. There's one more thing to consider about gatekeepers. If you're going to hire them to safeguard you and ensure that you're prepared, then listen to what they have to say. On many occasions, reporters get put through the paces by the gatekeeper only to show up and have the interview subject say, hmm, so what are we talking about? And then it seems to spiral out of control. The reporter will tell them what the topic is and then the subject says, oh no, I'm not talking about that. This is something that happens in entertainment frequently and it's an incredibly sore point for reporters. Here's why. They still have to do a story. The assignment desk is expecting it in fact, they'll demand it. And given that the reporter has just been treated poorly, the tone of the story is going to sour, if not become outright negative. The act that they're writing the story about reads it and becomes even more hostile to the media. It's a downward spiral that can get out of control really quickly. And many times it's because the gatekeeper was nothing more than a wall. If that's your objective, just to have the gatekeeper throw up barriers, have them refuse interviews, not just some, but all of them, because cherry picking just the reporters you like can and will backfire. Good, we did it.